Hi, I'm Michael. We're here at the Art C booth. I'm going to show you the Groove tool. The first tool ever to sand, stencil, ink, paint all in one. Very easy to use tool. It has a high speed and a low speed. All it does is spin. The, the tips snap right on. And you get very easy to work with. So I'm going to try the brush first. The brush is great even just for painting. It leaves no streaks, nice smooth finish. All along here, this is all painted using the tool. And now we're going to, instead of painting it, we're going to use this, the uh, brush to do a little stenciling. Now, to do stenciling with the groove, all you need to do is <laughs> turn on the brush, get a little paint on your brush, and simply just spread it over the stencil. Super easy and quick. The nice thing with the groove is you don't have to do that swirling motion that you normally would if you're using a traditional brush. And that was very quick. Some of the other stenciling that we can show is on this project here. We stenciled all these. This is also multimedia stenciled. Stamping with the edges. What I want to show you now is I want to show you how you ink. So I'm going to take a fresh one, put it up here, take off the brush tip, put on an inking tip. You use any kind of ink, dye or pigment. We're using the, the dye inks here so that it dries a little quicker. And once again, just my hands are a little paint-like. Another nice thing is you don't get your hands all covered in paint either by holding the tool. It's very light, portable, and battery operated. So you can do any kind of inking you want, but if I just gently go along the edge of the tag, you get a nice distressed look. If you go a little heavier in one spot, it's a little darker. You can see here on the edge of this tag, and what's really nice, so on this card here, all along the edges there, then all along the edges of the tag was all done with the foam tip. The last tip I want to show you is one of the sand tips. There's two sand tips. There's the fine sand tip and the coarse sanding tip. Once again, the tips just snap right on, and you turn the brush on. Actually, I'll use, I'll use a piece of wood just to show you on wood, and I'll also go back and do paper after, but very easy. Just rub right along the edge, and you get a nice little distressed effect. With this, we put some paste on first, some molding paste, and then paint it on top of it. Once it's dry, you can sand right on top, and you can bring out some of that texture from the paste. Cards are the same way. If you want to distress on a tag, super fun and easy, right along the edge. We've also done some canvases here. You see we just stenciled it and then distressed on the edges and inked with the inking on the star after we painted it. That is the very easy to use groove tool. Thanks.